Yes, guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102, player profile time. And you can see it right before you, the great Argentinian defender, Walter Samuel. What a player. So what I've done is I have fired up my, I'm going to call it my profiles save. So we're on 10 years into a game. Now, I've got to be honest with you, right? I'd actually planned to do Stefan Selakovic. <laughs> But I can't because he's fucking retired in the game that I fired up. So, that's that. So, Walter Samuel. Where do we start with him? Let's start with his CM credentials because it's very, very straightforward. He's a real powerful defender in the game. And he's very difficult to get. Um, if he makes one move, he'll probably make a few. But otherwise, he's one of those players that is very loyal to Roma. And as you can see, in terms of Roma, that's why he's not even moved in 10 years so, he starts at Roma. Of course, Roma, amongst uh, have probably the best starting team in Championship Manager 0102. Uh, Man United probably second. But Roma really have. They're absolutely crazy. Look at his first uh, five seasons. Absolutely insane. For a defender, it's very difficult for a defender to get those sort of average ratings uh, on so many games. But he's been absolutely brilliant. And as you can see, even even uh, after that, he's still been pretty pretty consistent, pretty fucking decent. Uh, and, and even so far this season, at the age of 33, um, he's on 786. Uh, so he, he really, I mean, let's just see. He's still in the country for two more years. 136 caps for Argentina. Uh, he really is. He's got all the credentials. And when I say the credentials, I think... There's almost four, in my opinion, it used to be three, but there's four main attributes for central defenders. There are more. There are a lot more key ones to take in, but the essential ones is, for me, is tackling, positioning, marking. Uh, I, I've added decisions to that, uh, but then there are a lot of others. Pa uh, pace needs to be good. He's got pace. Jumping and heading simultaneously. Uh, he, you know, he's a fucking beanpole. He's six foot in real life. Uh, he's got a lot of balance. He's got a lot of uh, anticipation. He, he obviously, along with his decent pace, he's got acceleration. He really ha is the bollocks. He, you know, he really has got some absolute superb attributes. I mean, even finishing thirteen—that's a little bit worrying. Uh, crossing twelve, um, strength nineteen, tackling is there. Teamwork, technique, work. the mental attributes are really good. The hidden attributes, they're pretty decent. The adaptability, the big matches, the consistency, his fitness. Corners who gives a shit if he's not a corner taker. A dirtiness, that's not obviously something you want to see him high on. Injury prone. Uh, lo loyalty is great. He really is an absolute fucking monster to have in any team. If you're lucky enough to get him, then you'll be getting yourself a gym. He's going to cost you a, few, uh, a pretty penny. You've just got to hope, really. Uh, when someone starts at Roma, if they're playing them, they're never going to come available. And, you know, and he's a good example as to why. He's just so prolific. So, let's talk about, um, let's talk about Walter as a real-life player. He started out in uh, 1996. I think he made his debut towards the start of that season because he actually had, I'm um, just thinking, he was 18 years of age and he actually had a really good season in his first season at the age of 18, 19, where he's like 40 odd games. He played for uh, Newell's Old Boys. Um, there's not many Argentine teams that I know, but uh, Newell's Old Boys are one of them. And the team he then went to are the most uh, common uh, Argentine football club that I know. And that, of course, is Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors, I think all the... A bit like when, you know, like players like uh, Neymar, they go to like Santos uh, or whoever in, in Brazil before making the move over. It's the same with um, Argentina. You know, they end up at Boca Juniors, River Plate maybe... Uh, so Boca Juniors, three years, 77. Funnily enough, right, so between 96 and 97, he played 42 games. Between 97 to 2000, for Boca, he played 77 games. So I worked that out that he probably left uh, mid-season, 97. I don't know, I can't be 100% sure. But it went until the year 2000, where he got his move to Roma. Now, it's unfortunate, really, because in Roma, he actually made, over uh, four years, between 2000 and 2004, 122 games. Um, of course, 
if you were to uh, you were to base it like this, you know, from 2000 to 2004. 160, 170 odd games you could work it out at. But not a real big issue. But yeah, very good. Nine goals as well to add. 2004, he then got the move to Real Madrid. Real Madrid, of course, um, that probably wasn't the greatest season in the world for him. Another example of a player making the move, whether it be for the money, whether it be to join the Galacticos, because that will be at a prime time of when Real Madrid were making marquee Galactico signings left, right, and centre. Only 30 games uh, between 04 and 05. Um, and then at the end of the 05, he returned to Italy. He returned to Inter Milan, where he was there for nine years until 2014, amassing 160 odd games, uh, 14 odd goals. Uh, 2014 to 2016, so he'd have been um, 36. Yeah, 36 to 38. He fight, finished his career at Baal for two years, uh, 29 games, two more. Baal, of course, are, um, are the, the Swiss team. I didn't even know, if I'm honest with you. I had to check that. I didn't know that's where he was. I knew he was at, um, I knew he was at Boca. I knew he was at Roma. I knew he was at Real and Inter. I didn't know he started where he started. Um, but um, in terms of Argentina... He uh, amassed 56 caps for the senior for the senior team. He made his last cap in 2010, so 32 years of age. He made his first cap in 1999 at the age of 21. So very good. Uh, obviously, he had a half a dozen games in the under 20s, um, but nothing else. So I think I said this before. I don't know if Argentina, if South America have an under 21s. I don't know. Um, and at present. He is currently the assistant manager for Argentina. I don't know what the definition of an assistant manager is. It probably just means he's on the coaching staff for his nation, which is pretty decent. Pretty fucking decent. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, um, that's that. So, absolute great player. Um, and I'm, I read something uh, that when... Um, you know, there, there was one partnership he formed with a certain player, and I'll tell you who he is in a minute, but... If you look at CM, Argentina have a fucking immense... They're an immense nation. But there was one thing that I read up that he formed a, a great alliance with uh, on and off the pitch, and that was Xavi Zanetti. Um, for whatever reason, I don't really know why. Um, Zanetti had uh, referred him... This is funny, actually, because Zanetti quoted him as the hardest player in football... Now, I've heard that about um, so many different players. Gattuso I heard it about. And I've heard it, obviously, about Roy Keane. So it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm intrigued to know who, who you guys believe is the hardest player in, in this era of football. I, mean, I didn't know, really. I didn't know that uh, Samuel was... I mean, I know you've got to be a strong centre-half. Uh, Gattuso and Roy Keane... Bit like Vieira, uh, they're in that DMC role. That sort of th th they they're enforcers, aren't they? They are the enforcers before it gets to the last line of defence. So that's that. So that is our player profile on the great Argentine Walter Samuel. If you've got any players that you want doing uh, an insight into, let me know. Somebody did send me some um, uh, suggestions, and I'm sure one of those was Selakovic. So that's not going to happen. And until next time from me, guys, take it easy.